Zion National Park. It's been far too long since Chris and I have visited this beautiful place. Fortunately, a print project came up for us to decorate a few Airbnbs in the area and the client wants some artwork of the park to hang up on the walls. Our first day begins in an old classic. What's up guys? What a great way to start the morning. Nice sunrise and then we have some bighorn sheep, a mama and a baby. Um, we're going to spend the rest of the morning driving around. Uh, we just parked at like a random spot, dropped down into this wash and we're just going to walk and explore. Uh, this project is going to be a little bit of a mix of getting these iconic shots uh, because it's a print project and they want to see some iconic shots on their walls in this Airbnb. Uh, we also want to do a mix of that and then of course the, the intimates and, and the, the smaller detail type shots, uh, more creative shots. So, uh, you know, when I came back here, I've been here once before and I wanted to come back and um, explore kind of the lesser known parts. And so this trip, we kind of got to do a mix of both, so that's okay. So yeah, we're just going to walk up this canyon here and see what we can find. So I found a first scene here that I like and right now it is already mid-May and you wouldn't expect to be any more fall color left but there's one little bush here that still has a little bit of fall colors on it and so I really wanted these yellow little leaves to stand out so I chose a composition that has darker I think it's roots yeah it's like roots and other branches of the same bush um, like beneath so it's almost like a backdrop for these yellow leaves and the problem is right now it is not as windy you know but it is a little bit too windy for this scene to to work right now because i want the aperture to be very low so right now i'm shooting something like i think 4.0 or 5.6 so that i have that depth of field because i want to blur out all the roots and the branches underneath i just want it to be like one wash of color and not as much detail visible and that's why i have to choose an aperture pretty low like anything between 2.8 to like 4 to have that depth of field but that brings me to a shutter speed of around like 1 60th of a 60th of a second if i bump up the iso to about 250 and so that 1 60th of a second is a little bit too long of a shutter speed to make this work because it will not be pin sharp. So I'll wait here for a little bit and see if the, the wind dies, dies down, see if I can make this scene work. I already shot on the way here, I already shot some rock patterns and I'm having the house in mind here that we're shooting. So the interior designer chose like a lot of neutral colors so browns blacks and whites and there are a lot of black accents like in the kitchen and a lot of the hardware and stuff is black and the the rock patterns that i found were that little bit of an orange glow so like that warmth that goes very well with the brown and then also the black coming back in so i don't want the print to stand out too much in the whole apartment i want it to blend in with the room and just don't take away too much from the interior designer that already did such an amazing job in that house guys I found a little uh, area that has some some rocks that are kind of stained a little bit uh, some interesting patterns and colors I love the colors of the rock in this area it's almost got like a pinkish uh, almost like a peach tone to it it's so so awesome and uh, I came up this little uh, wash here Chris is back there a little bit further she found something like right away uh, she wanted to photograph so I'm doing this little scene here that is extremely nice. Uh, the wind is blowing a little bit this morning. Uh, not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday was bad when we got into town. 
but still blowing a little bit, so I'm waiting for the wind to die down when I take my shot. Uh, normally I wouldn't maybe take too much into consideration with that, but because I have my little tripod here, I left my big sturdy one in the truck, and this is probably going to be potentially a print. Uh, I've got my 50 millimeter lens on, which is super sharp, uh, super sharp prime lens. And then uh, just waiting for that wind to die down. Uh, electronic shutter. I'm not using my normal mechanical shutter on the D850. And uh, yeah, I just saw a bighorn sheep right up here uh, a few minutes ago as I was walking up. It was pretty cool. It kind of saw me and went off before I can get any video. All right, I just heard something right over here. I'll leave my camera here and walk up with the video. They sound like maybe a bighorn sheep up on rock or something. Just heard right up over here. Oh, yep, there they are. You can see them here. Despite the record number of people and crowds of cars waiting in lines at the entrances, we were able to spend most of the morning in this quiet canyon watching these bighorn sheep grazing on the edges of the sandstone, listening to the wind blowing through the pines and just the peace that nature provides when you just let yourself be a part of it. I felt like this morning we experienced all the best parts of what Zion National Park is all about. Thank you.